I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. Today and rather good evening. First marathon was run by one man in 490 BC. He made history. Today, the New York City Marathon has 18,000 runners. They make television. The strategy of all the top runners are all going to be watching each other, particularly the man who wants more than anything, not so much a time, but to win. That's Rod Dixon. I've done the homework, and this is the finest quality field ever assembled for a women's marathon here in New York. Totally. Fifteen years ago, less than a hundred ran the race round the Big Apple. Now it has become a gigantic spectacular through the power of television. We have very sophisticated cameras, where there's three or four at, at the start line uh, alone. There are 32 cameras along the course. We have stationary cameras to get the, the wide shots to give you the flavor and taste of New York and the ethnic groups. We have five mobile cameras following the lead, the women's lead, the men's lead, and then dropping back to pick up the individual stories. During the race, these runners will become part of an international event. Television has created huge live happenings seen worldwide. This marathon will flash by satellite as far as Korea and Iceland. Three thousand miles away in London, the marathon is the key foreign item of Britain's five-hour live Saturday program, World of Sport. We set out with thousands of aspiring runners in the biggest mass race of all, the New York City Marathon. A grueling test of strength and determination through the five boroughs of the Big Apple for the joggers and the top contenders alike. As in the past, this year there are runners from all 50 states in the U.S., but also from 60 other countries. So that's the size and the drama of the New York City Marathon. There is the defending champion, heavy favorite in this race, number two, uh, wearing the all-black of his native New Zealand. St. Peter's Square in Rome. Thousands have gathered in the Vatican to see Pope John Paul celebrate Mass. But they're only a tiny fraction of his total congregation. Outside broadcast cameras cover the service live for millions more viewers in Italy and throughout the world. The transmission of real live public events like this made television a new and powerful force in communication. It alone could show the viewer what happens as it happens while he sat in his own home. <laughs> That is pure television. That's the one thing that is strictly unique to television, is, is that ability to go there at the time it's happening. The satellite has given us that capability around the world now. Uh, whether it's a tragedy or whether it's a pageantry, uh, whether it's a scheduled event or, uh, or an unexpected one, uh, that, that is what we're about. If it's live, then uh, that is really the best of television, isn't it? If you're there, if cameras are there on the spot, then is television being used uh, to perfection. Let's see at this moment can see the pocket closing up and closing up and Come getting on, Steve. smaller. No.
when you watch a football game. So if you watch a football game on tape, it uh, doesn't mean anything. But you watch it live because it's the essence of live. There's only three things they can do with the ball. They can throw it, run with it, and kick it. That's it. But when he throws it, will he catch it? Will he be intercepted? Will he drop it? Will he this? Will he pop it? Will he this? If he kicks it, will he get bounced off? Will he block the kick? Will he be there? There's a million and trillion things that can go either way. And that's the suspense of live. Really know what's Philly now? What a beautiful goal from Philly! I think television is uh, live information, or delayed information. When something looks li live that has been shot as something live. The best uh, use of it, uh, for my money, is uh, football. <laughs> If I go to a big stadium, I don't see a football match as well as I see it on television. On television, you really see more than in any seat in a stadium. I think television is magnificent for football. In Britain, the networks devote vast amounts of television time to sport. The BBC alone produces 1,500 hours of sport a year, twice as much as light entertainment, three times more than news or drama. When the world watches television, what it watches most of all is sport, any sport. In Japan, the biggest audience is for the traditional and spectacular sport of sumo wrestling. Two powerful men, each weighing as much as 25 stone, grapple in one of the most explosive combat sports. Sumo is a throwback to samurai Japan with its pageantry, medieval dress, religious rites, and individual feats of strength. In modern-day electronic Japan, the past is still important. Sumo is televised for up to three hours a day, 90 days a year, and attracts 20 million viewers, even though an average fight only lasts 30 seconds. <laughs> 